Trouble in Memphis. They're pushing back against the NCAA with a restraining order uh, against violations that possible coach Penny Hardaway maybe violated some rules as a booster before he was the head coach. Yeah, this is what that Wiseman cat, who's like mm-hmm. the number one recruit yeah. or whatever. Yep. A big reason why the Memphis basketball team had the number one recruiting class in the country is because of this Wiseman character, uh, not character, <laughs> Wiseman kid who's very good at basketball. The whole filing a restraining order against the NCAA is a beautiful thing. I think every college student should do it. Hey, stop tracking me. Get off my ass. You're like an ex-girlfriend. You're always in the way. I get a handshake at a bar. You guys are on my ass. I get a free T-shirt. You guys are on my ass. I get a hug from a guy who's got a lot of money. You guys are on my ass. So the Memphis team filing a restraining order to delay this entire thing a year to get this kid to play, and then he's going to be gone anyways. I mean, it's going to hurt the Memphis Tiger basketball team in the future. But if you can win right now, you can deal with that all, I guess. The NCAA does not forget, by the way. That ex-girlfriend that you file a restraining order, that ex-boyfriend you file a restraining order against, when that restraining order is up, they're still pissed. And that's what's going to happen with this NCAA thing. If they feel like they've been disrespected by the Memphis Tiger basketball team or the Memphis Tigers at all, they're going to get – hey, the NCAA might get got for a little bit here. They're going to get theirs, though. And the Memphis Tiger basketball team knows that. they got to win this year because I feel like whenever this restraining order gets backed off and trial and whatever happens afterwards, the investigation, they're going to bring the hammer down on Memphis if they see anything. And once again, this is all coming from a standpoint that I don't like the way the NCAA operates. Mm-hmm. I don't like the fact that Penny Hardaway couldn't help this kid and his family out to get him into a good school and a good situation to end up in a Division One school, which is a much different situation than his life probably would have went on if he didn't do that. I don't like the fact that the NCAA doesn't allow kids from very tough neighborhoods, very tough economic backgrounds to benefit at all off of themselves when everybody else seems to be benefiting. I don't like any of this. We're just telling you how it is with the NCAA. The NCAA plays no games. They're the most gangster gangsters out there. They don't give a single damn. They have their hands in a cookie jar. They know it. Everybody else knows it. And they don't give a damn about it. And if anybody wants to come in there and get that cookie, good luck. (laughs) Because they got a they got a team of lawyers ready to just take down your entire university. Apparently, the issue stems too from like you know the the high school he was at when he brought the kid over. Like it's it's not from that. It's because a bu- a long time ago he donated a million dollars to Memphis's athletic hall of fame. So he's considered a booster, even though that was way before he was the head coach, or they knew he was going to be the head coach. They're stupid. The NCAA Greeny asked this question on Get Up, and I thought it was a very good question. He said, NCAA, when you lay your head down at night. What do you feel like you've accomplished? Like with this Chase Young situation, the best player in football, people are saying, he flew his girlfriend out to the Rose Bowl. That's what he's saying. Now, granted, they'll investigate and probably be something a little bit more than that. Who knows? I mean, Chase Young, there's no reason for Chase Young to lie to us. I've never talked to him. He has never lied to me before. We should take it for his word. But let's even say it's a little bit more than that. And I've always asked this question throughout the years. It's like, what do the people who say, players shouldn't get anything, they already get a scholarship. Like, what do you, what do you, how do you sleep? Like, what does that make you feel? Like, how does that make you feel like you've Why? won? Like, the NCAA, like, how does that make you feel good that you're suspending a guy a couple games in a season that is going to set him up for the rest of his life? Like, what, what does that make you, how does that make you feel good about yourself? Like, how are you, now granted, there's defense attorneys for, like, the most, terrible human beings on earth there's people that have zero spines there's people that have zero consciousness and everything like that i would assume the ncaa just falls into that world but it's still like what are you doing like how are you helping student athletes at this point instead of hurting student athletes